Good morning, everybody. It's Danny back from Deep South Homestead. Right here early today, guys, before the sun comes up. I want to give y'all a little bit of clip about what I go through every morning feeding my cows here in my barn. This is all off-grid over here. We have no electricity. And when I, I don't even have my barn completely closed in yet, and I have to turn the lights on on the ranger to be able to see what I'm doing to feed the cows because it's just that dark in there. We now have all the lumber in the barn to close the barn in. We've been letting it dry as much as possible because we got it was a little bit green. Well, guys, today we want to show you our new plan we have for the farm all barn. We've got 220 watt panels here from Bogue uh, to set up a solar system with. Now, I already have my charge controllers and uh, my inverters and all that kind of stuff. But it's got to go on this wall on the front of the barn here. Well, we haven't been able to put any of this in yet because we don't have the front wall on. We've got the lumber now. The lumber's ready to be put up. As soon as we get to putting that on there, our solar is going to go in this front corner right here so that we have power in the barn. I've got a 200 amp uh, battery system in there that we're going to be using with it to power everything we need to power in the barn. And because this is east facing right here, it's the only shot we have of the eastern sky up until the middle of the day here. We're going to be setting the panels up out here. Uh, the two panels will be set up out here. We are, I have some underground cable ordered to go to the barn uh, so that we can set everything up inside the barn. And we'll be using these 220 watt Bogue panels here uh, to run our barn with because Guys, I mean, let's just face it, uh, with the intensity of the sun now, I mean, this is something I found out the other day that's quite interesting. These may be 120 watt panels, but with the intensity of the sun right now, they're actually going to be able to put out more than that because of the just the intensity of the sun. And that's even, that was even better for us. Now, it's a little bit more... Uh, Maybe you might, well, I don't know, I'll use the word dangerous, but you have to be careful when you're hooking everything up because this will electrocute you just like a uh, regular 120 will. So you have to be kind of careful when you're hooking this up. But it's going to be more intense sun, which means more power for us in our off-grid barn over here. It's going to make life a lot easier for us over here at the barn. Now the Bogue solar panel setup comes with a mounting hardware here that goes on the back side of it. It comes with an instruction manual uh, for hooking it up. And the instruction manual shows you how to hook them up in series and all kinds of different stuff. And it comes on the back. Let me see if I can get this thing to flip up here. It comes with your uh, all your cables, your positive and your negative cable hookups here, already mounted on the back of it. It's got your holes already drilled in it here uh, for your mounting hardware to be able to mount this up. Uh, now, I use a regular electrical uh, C-channel type setup on my other solar panels over here at the cabin. Now we have a, uh, a Bogue panel over there also that's a lot larger than this one that we're using over there. Uh, and it mounted right into my hardware system that I had. Uh, the C-channel system that we used over there worked perfect. This stuff fastens right to it uh, with a couple of bolts. Guys, I tell you what, this it's fantastic. Now this book right here even covers uh, warranty. You get an 18 month warranty with it. Uh, it comes along with it. I think that's pretty good with everything you know that you have to have here. In this it tells you all the contents that comes in the package here. All the mounting bolts and flat washers and all kinds of stuff. And then it gives you how to install it, how to mount it, how to handle all this. Guys it's just I think it's I think it's a good deal because in the future um, solar is going to play a big part in the future now there may be some issues coming in the future with solar but overall because of the intensity of the Sun even though it's going to be a cloudy day with the new intensity of the Sun these panels are still going to be able to pick up enough solar rays to keep something charged because there are going to be a lot of days in the future coming that 
we're not going to have the bright sunny skies like we have. There's going to be a lot of overcast conditions and these panels will still pick up some energy to be able to keep your battery banks charged. This barn right here is a just, it's just a barn guys. Uh, it's not a place I'm going to be running all kinds of massive power tools and all that kind of stuff. Basically, I'm going to have solar lighting in it everywhere. Uh, I might have a plug-in in case I need to charge a drill motor or something like that. Or maybe just run a little small fan if I'm in there and I need to be able to stay cool in a hot day. Uh, we're going to have rabbits in here if we need to run like a little small solar fan to keep some air moving where the rabbits is at. Things to that nature. I mean, that's why we were using two of these panels. We've got two of them. Uh, that's all we're really going to need with the battery bank that we've got going in it here. I think we'll have plenty of power to keep the farm all barn uh, where we can use it and not have to be fumbling around in the dark toting a lantern or a flashlight all the time. I'll be able to walk in and I'm going to have also solar lights in there that are motion detected. So that the instant I walk in, all the lights in there just turn on automatically anyway. And, and or either I've got I've got some with remote controls that I can use. I've, I've set it up a whole different array of ways so that I can have lighting in there from the uh, battery bank that these panels are going to be charging for us. So if you're interested in solar, which I think is going to be a good thing in the future, uh, you know, for what we're going to have with the power shortages we're going to have coming in, in this country. Um, I'm not interested in running refrigerators and freezers and all that kind of stuff. But if you're interested in just keeping some energy to keep you comfortable, then the Bogue panels here I think will be great. Uh, they work great for RVs, uh, like off-grid cabins like I have here, stuff to that nature, where we're not trying to run all the appliances and everything. We're just trying to survive. And guys, if you're trying to survive, we will leave you a link in the description down below uh, about how you can get a hold to them. And guys, I think that I think that you'll you, you'll enjoy having a solar system for what's coming in the future. Thank you, guys from Deep South Homestead.